Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our garbage picking for the week. Kind of excited. I'm ready for some new stuff. This could be something or it could be nothing. All right, so the top table is super moldy. Everything is moldy. I am touching it. Yeah, that's so moldy. Like even the chair has got mold. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> it's really bad. All right, so hear me out, because I think he already knows what I'm about to say. I seen a a, a bus a bus build that had repurposed a piece of furniture. So now I'm kind of like looking for a piece of furniture that could potentially be repurposed. This does seem to be a very newer piece. Gouge. Well, I mean, this. I don't think the sink would fit in there, and it's not resellable. But I'm keeping my eyes open. Well, we are not done garbage picking yet, but we do have to switch vehicles because of this. <laughs> Nothing. It was clicking earlier. I'm pretty sure it's the starter, which of course figures because. We are supposed to be leaving in the morning to go to the eclipse, which I do think we are still going to. Whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm not the same person I was when I got out of the truck. <laughs> it was really loud. Um, we're still going to do the eclipse tomorrow. We're taking Leona and Woody with us. It'll be a whole different vlog. So in, in the meantime, let's go pick more garbage. I mean, we're back out here. There's piles. Just... So far, nothing that I'm excited about. It was really nice out today, so people are like clearing out things and stuff. It's just nothing I want. Finally, a pile I can get down with. That's neat. Yeah. It's got dog throwing stuff in there, don't it? No, I think this is to make snowballs. I think they're like snowball makers. My very own snowman kit and a fort maker. I mean, you can take all that for winter stuff. The whole ordeal. Yeah, might as well just take the whole ordeal. That is worth about 20 bucks. If I want to clean it up. I mean, the back doesn't look terrible. Looks like they're clearing out the garage. Star Wars chess. No, I don't see the board in there. What about this cupcake thing up here? You watch it. Yeah, might as well. Put it with the garage and stuff. This too. <gasps> what are those? Those are adorable. I think that's gonna wrap it up for here. I doubt those are real, If even if they are. Those are pretty rough. Wait, wait, wait. This is vintage. 1958-1965 United Features Syndicate. You wanna grab those so I can grab this? I mean, it just needs cleaned up. Yeah. Um, I don't see anything I want. He's reversing, saying that he sees something very interesting, but I can't tell if his, like, the tone of his voice, if he's, like, BSing me or if it's really something interesting. What was it? It's an auger for ice fishing, but they tore the top of the motor apart. Okay, gotcha. Oh, buddy, I seen them from a little ways away. Freaking blow molds, man. Loving garbage, picking the blow molds. Hmm. It's all like little kids water stuff. I don't know, I don't think I want any of that. Well, definitely not getting the coffee table, but I do want to look at these planter pots. 
what's in there. Trash. Oh, the planter pots are full. Hmm, that creates a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll leave them. I don't know what to do with it. It was an interesting garbage pick. Are these marked anything anywhere? Alright, Canada. So is that Union? Made in Canada, that's all I see. Not on the back. Nutcracker, eh? Nutcracker! I don't see a, like a brand name. Interesting. Okay, well we got two Nutcracker blow molds. <laughs> if you guys are Supernatural fans, you'll understand that reference. This is probably my favorite. I just noticed it is missing like one of these little feet dudes. But check that out. It says 1958-1965 United Feature Syndicate, Inc. Careful because it is missing a foot and that's sharp. We have... I didn't even think to look inside. I don't see it. Up here. I thought you were looking for the foot. No, I was looking for... We've got a cupcake carrier, which you actually, like, every one I have ever had sold fairly quickly. I don't see a brand name on this one either, but worst case, actually I think I'm going to take that in and see if I can do some research on it because it's pretty clean. I just got to wash it. Um, but like I was saying, every one I have ever had sold pretty quick. I like that. I'll take those in too. These little lights. And then I saved the snow stuff. It probably won't sell until later in the season, but I plan on running the pop-up sales until like probably November-ish. So those will probably sell around that time. Not bad for a first stop. Not bad. I don't know, I've never even seen an aluminum one. Hello, Burton. Yeah, it's missing the handle. The handle's janked, but I ain't never seen an aluminum one before. Well, I think tomorrow we're gonna set up for a pop-up sale. So, I mean, we could always just put it in the sale. It's got all this. It's very interesting. I want all of them, sir. All of them. Either bus building supplies or little free library supplies. No, no neither. We can use that? Yeah. In the bus? Yeah. For, for things? None of this stuff? No. It's all cloudy Is it just one? Oh, it's just one. That's a bummer. If that was like a whole package, I definitely could have used that. Well, that's all it would be good for is garden, but it's, I think it would be cute with plants on it. How bad is this? But it hold a pot? I think that would definitely hold pots. Will it stay upright or does it want to just fall backwards? Yeah, I think it would be cute in a garden. Pretty shabby. Yeah, see, it'll stand on its own. That's what I was trying to ask over there. It's not super sturdy, but it will. <laughs> There's like beagle nose prints everywhere. <laughs> Is it full? Is it? Is there ninety five thousand dollars in it? No, but it's definitely. Mama's got a squeeze box, and Daddy can't sleep. Oh at night. Oh my gosh! Are you freaking serious yeah. right now? Yup. We are poking all night long. I'm not gonna do that. Just yes, so you know. Yes, no, no. <laughs> call your grandma, dude. Okay, that's probably the coolest thing we've picked up in a, a hot minute, dude. I don't even know exactly what it is. He just like slammed on the brakes and jumped out. It was a keyboard, but it's got a broken, it's broken. It was a broken keyboard? Broken keyboard. Womp womp. We almost had a band. Almost. All right, I got kind of excited about the planter. Oh! I wanted that kind of fencing. Can you guys even see that yet? I wanted that kind of fencing to put up for the dogs so they can play in the yard. 
I wanted to look at that though. Oh, or these, I should say. It's two of them. And they are both in what appears to be pretty good condition. Sucks we can't fit that in because those always sell pretty quick. It's an inflator built to last. Yeah. Is that just a frame? Yeah. Sucky part is that I don't think we're fitting that in here. The wood's kind of me. But people redo those. I sell them even me. Like just showing that it needs redone. But I really... I don't feel like putting that on the roof, and it's not going to fit in the back, so I think we're going to leave it. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully somebody else will pick it up. All right, I'm not going to, like, pull anything out of here tonight, because tomorrow, as long as the weather stays the way that it says it's going to, um, we are going to have a pop-up sale. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for that, but I did want to see if there was a name... Can you guys read that? What does that say? I can't freaking read that. Alright, so maybe I'll just <laughs> leave that for tomorrow too. But I'll see you guys then. Morning. So we are getting there. It does look like we are actually having a sale now. <laughs> oh my gosh, my freaking ankles throbbing. My lower back's killing me. But we have a goal. Our goal to get the van back on the road. Uh, two things. First thing is, we think it's the alternator. He called, I don't know, AutoZone maybe? Something like that. <laughs> and they wanted like $250 for an alternator. So he's gonna call the junkyard later and see what they want for an alternator. So that is the first goal for the sale is to make enough money to pay for an alternator. Second, is Rich's birthday is on Sunday, which means dun, 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 happy birthday! You owe us money. Uh, we have to renew the registration for the van, which is like hundred and something dollars. I don't think we're gonna make enough to do both, but it'll help. The last time we had a sale, we didn't even have anybody stop until the afternoon, which is kind of frustrating, but now at least I know it and I'm aware of it. I can be a little bit more objective when nobody stops until the afternoon. Last time I got freaking mad. <laughs> so that, and we only made like a little over $100, I think, and 20 of that was my mom giving me money for Netflix. So did we actually make $100? Meh. It was, it was right around there. If we make that, okay, whatever. We get rid of some stuff, make a little bit of money. You know, I'll walk you guys around a little. I'm hobbling slightly because, like I said, my freaking angle hurts. Um, still a bit sore from going to Ohio. I, like, slid in the mud. Probably not a good thing to do. Um, my ankle is very tweaky. So if I move it just slightly the wrong direction, it blows up. If I remember, I'll insert a photo of what it looked like last night. Not good. It was a straight cankle. Like, straight up cankle. We're also trying to get everything, or as much stuff as we can, that is for sale out of the bus, because I unfortunately got into the habit of using it as storage, and we can't work on it if there's crap in the way. So, if we get everything out, it'll, you know, like that box is sitting in there. If we get everything out, we can, uh, loud truck, give it a second, <laughs> uh, we can start working on it again, which is really what my goal is. I would like to find an air pump that is actually a cactus in a pot, like blow up uh, cooler, which is freaking awesome. Like if you're having some sort of backyard get together, this is awesome, but nobody's going to know what it is in a box deflated, so. Um, the Stephen King's, I have doubles of a lot of these, so I'm, um, I need to make a sign, $4 each or th three for ten. Uh, the t CDs, tapes, cassettes, $2 each or three for five. We did recently find a handful of the cassette tapes at the bins. Um, I, I know I have more DVDs somewhere, I just don't know where they are. And I gotta grab the CDs still. 
I gotta go through this bin too. I, I don't even know what's in there anymore. Uh, we have the wine rack. My mom's got some of her pretty flowers and plants. I did put ten on the bench. I'll take an offer, but it's sturdy. It's just, you know, shabby. <laughs> but we've got loud van books a dollar a piece and if i remember correctly this coming saturday there is a fill a bag sale for five bucks so i might peep that out rich's sister works for a cigar company and i ended up with a bunch of cigar boxes from rich's mom when we went over there i just think they're neat there was a mosquito that just tried to land on me Ooh. bummed about this was unboxing it and realized there's a chip there. It's chipped there, so I just put a free on it. If somebody can use it, great. If not, I'll chuck it at the end of the sale because I'm not storing that. We've got the two ladders. The, uh, what is this called? It's not squeeze boxes. We use squeeze boxes are littler. What the heck is that called? Drawing a blank. Update. It is 10.39 a.m. We blew up that thing. <laughs> Nobody was going to know what it was just sitting in a box. So now they know what it is. Maybe. It's a cooler. You put your beer in there. Um, yeah. I don't know, dude. We have not sold anything yet. Loud truck. People are missing out because I'm pretty sure those are real. But I don't feel like dicking with eBay's authentication system, so somebody can get a really good pair of coat shoes for 15 bucks if they would just stop. This is a really awesome book. I know you guys seen it, I picked it up at the bins, but it doesn't have the CD with it. it contains exclusive CD. So we don't have that. Top of five bucks, five bucks on it because it is technically incomplete. And I still got all this stuff to go through. <laughs> These boxes are full of a lot of small things from great grandma's estate, Keegan's great grandma. Um, I don't have a whole lot of table space. Apparently we need to garbage pick more tables if we're gonna keep doing these pop-up sales. And if I don't freaking sell anything, I'm gonna stop doing it. This is a lot of work for like barely a hundred bucks. I was really hoping today would be better and it so far has not been. Huge bummer. Another update. It is now 11.44. I don't know if you guys can see all this black smoke in the air. We are eating lunch. It's driving Rich nuts. He thinks there's a house on fire. So he <laughs> just rip, ripping by in the Yukon to see what was going on. I have every intention of finishing my lunch because it's the country, man. People like throw tires and fires and stuff. Like, I doubt it's a house fire. <laughs> Here he comes. So it does not appear that it was a house fire because he would have been down there dealing with that. Still haven't sold anything. I think we had one guy stop since the last time I updated. So there's that. Okay, so here is the we're bored because nobody is buying stuff at our garage sale drama. So I ran down there in the Yukon to see what was going on because there's been a lot of house fires in this area in the past like six months and a couple explosions. And uh, there's a two-man Yahoo cleanup crew <laughs> down there. There's an old barn that collapsed many years ago on a piece of abandoned property and it's like well overgrown, a lot of dead stuff. And I guess they had the bright idea of burning it instead of actually cleaning it up. And uh, from what I could tell, it was kind of getting a little out of control. Some of the trees were catching fire. And I asked if they, you know, the fire department knew about this, and they said no. And I said, well, they're probably going to show up because you can see the smoke from about a half a mile away. Um, if I notice it gets any worse than it is right now, I'll, I'll probably call the fire department because it's right next door to somebody's house. And it's probably maybe... 30, 40 yards away from their house, and there's a lot of trees between where the fire is and this person's house, so I'll keep an eye on it. 
Looks like it's getting a little better. Looks like it's getting a little better. We'll see. Yeah. 115. We've had a couple sales. Not a lot, but what are we at? $18? I think we've made $18. I pulled out that rug. I spread out that rug. I don't know if you guys can see it, the blue one. And we've got somebody pulling it in right now. Potential sale. That rug. Um, we're just going to keep at it. I think it's about 4.30, maybe a little after. I've been... Ugh, peanut butter jelly. I'm hungry. Every time you guys see me, I'm like eating. <laughs> but, um, this hamper. It was a garbage pick. I had it in the sale for 10 bucks. Nobody was buying it. I took some pictures, put it up on Facebook Marketplace. This lady's getting her taxes done. She's going to swing by around 7, 8 o'clock. So hopefully that goes through for 20 bucks, And that sucks. We have sold some other things, though. Uh, that Kurt Cobain book sold. The small uh, suitcase, the brown one, sold for 5 bucks. There was like a print over here, frame print, that sold. A uh, cassette tape and a couple CDs sold. I don't know. And we're at like $63 for the day. So I don't feel as like pissed off and we still have, oh, a pair of shoes sold for five. I don't know. We're making progress. I don't know. I'm not as like, oh my God, this was not worth it. But we're still only at $63. We have about an hour, hour and a half left. So we'll see what happens. Rich has been doing the same thing. He pulled stuff out. We are going to keep the tattoo table. I don't know if we're going to invest in a shop. Those of you who are new, my husband is a tattoo artist, but he's currently not working in a shop, but that's his tattoo table. It's a really nice one. He really doesn't want to get rid of it. So for right now, we're just going to store it. I don't know where we got this. No idea. Rich brought it home from somewhere. It's a really pretty piece, but it's a project. As you can see, one of the handles is broken. So he stuck it up on Facebook Marketplace for like 30 bucks as a project piece. Just somebody come get it because it's been sitting in our shed for over a year. And <laughs> nobody knows what to do with it. Hopefully they show up. I'm okay with the day if we between Facebook Marketplace and the garage sale if we pull in over $100. I'll be all right with the work that we did. All right, everything has been picked up. Rich is grabbing the last tables right now. Oh my gosh, my freaking ankle hurts, my knees hurt, my lower back hurts, my lips hurt. I don't know why my lips hurt, but they do. They, they're stinging. I might have a sunburn on my lips. Was it worth it? I don't know. Rich's cabinet did get picked up, thank freaking God. Now we're just waiting on that. Hopefully that gets picked up before it starts raining. <laughs> the, um hamper got picked up and I am super sunburned. Rich didn't tell me nothing about nothing. I should have had sunscreen on. <laughs> so with the two Facebook marketplace pickups and the sale, we came out $112 ahead. Yep. Again, was it worth it? I mean, we're starting to see that we're probably gonna make slightly over $100 on a Wednesday sale, at least for now until we get more into like garage sale season. So I'll take it. And on that note, I'm going to sign you guys off. I'll see you on the next. Bye.